Welcome to my review of a knife from southwestern France, or to be more precise, from La Bastille de Soleurs, a small commune in the French Pyrenees. This village is home to Jean Paul Tisser, a local knife maker who makes beautiful artisan knives like these, but also very affordable pocket knives like Le Mont Ségur and the Lucabus Gentleman. Jean Paul Tisser was recognized with the title Meilleur Ouvrier de France, which is a highly respected award in France. As for the name of this knife, many knife makers derive their inspiration from nature, and that's also the case with Le Cabos. Le Cabos is a local dialect word for Le Chabot, which is the name of a freshwater fish that is widely distributed in Europe. The very unique overall shape of the knife is almost symmetrical. As for the specs, the closed length is 123 mm, the total length is 218 mm. The blade length is 95 mm and the blade thickness is 3 mm. The weight comes in at 90 grams. Just to give you a size comparison, here I've got an Opinel number 8. The handle is designed for a full four finger grip. The handle material is horn. Because of its flame-like texture, it's called corn flamme in French. The Cabos Gentleman is also available with blonde horn scales, but I think this texture gives it a really special look and makes each knife unique. The handle scales are attached to the stainless steel liners with pins, and like many other traditional French knives, the pivot is a pin with brass rings. As you have probably already noticed, the Cabos Gentleman is a slip joint knife. The back spring is pretty stiff. Just listen to the satisfying sound when it snaps open. Once again. The blade is a Warncliffe design, which is very unusual for a traditional French knife. I know that Warncliffe blades are either love it or hate it. I belong to the first group. I really appreciate the slicing abilities of a Warncliffe blade. The blade is flat ground and comes with a nicely done satin finish. The blade steel is Sandvik 12C27. It's a good quality mid-range steel, which is very common in French cutlery. I like 12C27 because you can get it reasonably sharp in no time. The only marking on the blade is the Tisser logo. There is no nail nick, no jimping, no file work. The clean look matches the clean style of the knife. 
The fit and finish is very well executed with no gaps between handle scales and liners or between the liners and the back spring. The blade centering is spot on. All in all, it's a beautiful knife for everyday carry. I hope you enjoyed my review. Thanks for watching. Take care.